kind of off the record. Um, uh, off the record, here I am filming this off the record. Um, uh, but there is a little different uh, take on how the surgeons that approach the anterior segment deal with the eye as opposed to the surgeons that approach the posterior segment. I'm going to leave it at that. You'll, you can make your observations, okay? Anterior segment surgeons are people like corneal surgeons, people like cataract surgeons, people like refractive surgeons, people like glaucoma surgeons. Those are the folks that deal with the anterior segment, whereas ret uh, re retinal surgeons or um, vitrectomy um, folks they are the posterior segment surgeons. Take that for what it's Okay, so then anyway, anyway, these are the two main portions of the eye. And what's tricky about this is that within the anterior segment, we have two spaces, okay? There's the space between the cornea and the lens. I, pardon me, between the cornea and the iris. And this space between the cornea and the iris is the anterior chamber. You got it. And then there's a space between the iris and the lens, if you will. And this space is the posterior. chamber. Very good. So, where the little bit of paradox, not paradox isn't the right word, but where the confusion comes up is that within the anterior segment, we have two spaces. One, the anterior chamber, and the second one, the posterior chamber. And both the anterior chamber and the posterior chamber then lie within the anterior segment. A little bit of physiology. The, the anterior segment is bathed with a fluid, and that fluid is called the aqueous. It's called the aqueous, okay? And that aqueous, I'll just put it up here, the aqueous. And that aqueous is made by the ciliary body and secreted into the posterior chamber. Then it percolates up from the posterior chamber out through the, not through the iris, but through the pupil, which is the hole in the iris. Good, 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 good. Through the pupil and into the anterior chamber, you got it, okay, and out of the eye through the, and you're probably saying canal of Schlem, I'm not going to argue with you on that, there is a, there is a little canal that's probably discontinuous in most people, we're not going to, we won't go there, but the canal of Schlem. Uh, but first it has to go through the trabecular meshwork. And the trabecular meshwork is a structure uh, which is uh, like layers of Swiss cheese and uh, somehow by mechanisms that uh, are not well understood by science, uh, the aqueous gets through those layers of trabecular meshwork into the canalish limb and then out through uh, the little venules into the, in, into the circulation and this aqueous is being turned over continuously. Okay, so that's the physiology of what's going on with that aqueous in, uh, which bathes the anterior segment of the eye. Okay. Now, that opens up the next ball of wax. What fills this compartment? This compartment is filled with, the, that's right, the, the vitreous. Some people will call it the vitreous humor. Let's just call it the vitreous. And that leads us to assignment number two. Remember, assignment number one was 
to get a grape, a dark grape, and peel it. And that way you can find out what the uvea looks like when you dissect the eye. And we'll give an, op we give an optional assignment, I didn't give it, but that's to go uh, look at the, at the Swiss cheese uh, container when they have the slice uh, in, in, the, in the grocery store while you're there. Uh, the craft or whatever brand, I don't have any stuff in the truck, and whatever you want to look for. Uh, the, they have the pre-sliced um, uh, Swiss cheese, and so that's kind of what the trabecular meshwork looks like. It's got these layers with these holes in it, and the holes don't really line up right. Okay, anyway, but your second mandatory assignment is to go get a raw egg and crack it and open it up into a, into a bowl and then muck around with the egg white. And when you muck around with the egg white, you'll see that that has the consistency pretty much almost exactly the same as the vitreous. So, so I want you to do that, to get a feel for what the vitreous is like. And that's why people that are operating on cataracts and the anterior segment of the eye, they don't like to get involved with that part because that can cause them problems. It can cause inflammation, it can cause traction, it can cause problems. Um, so so uh, go home, get a raw egg, crack it into a bowl, muck around with it. You know, you can't pick it up, you can't pour it. It's viscous and it just doesn't have nice properties like, like water does. Okay. So that fills the posterior segment of the eye. The posterior segment of the eye is filled with the vitreous. Some people call it the vitreous, like I said, the vitreous humor. We're just going to call it the vitreous. So this is the anatomy of the globe. Once again, three layers, the connective tissue layer, the vascular layer, and the neural layer. And then Within the, the globe, we have the anterior segment and the posterior segment. And within the anterior segment, we have the anterior chamber, which is between the cornea and the iris, and the posterior chamber, which is between the iris and the lens. Those are the, the major components. The vitreous fills the posterior um, the posterior segment of the eye. And so that's your primer on the anatomy. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me and uh, I'll be glad to answer any questions that you have or uh, lead you in the right direction if I don't have it. Thank you.